மீடியா உங்கள் கனவா படிக்கும் அனைவருக்கும் இன்டர்ன்ஷிப் பிளேஸ்மெண்ட் அசிஸ்டன்ஸ் பாண்டே ஸ்கூல் ஆஃப் ஜேர்னலிசம் ஷார்ட் டர்ம் கோர்ஸில் உடனே சேர அற்புதமான விழாவுக்கு வந்திருக்கக்கூடிய சகோதர சகோதரிகளே ரெஸ்பெக்டட் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் பிரதர்ஸ் அண்ட் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் கம்போஸ்ட் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஹிஸ்டாரிக் அண்ட் மொமெண்டஸ் டே என் பிஜேபி பார்ட்டி ஹெட் ஆஃபீஸ் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் வி சே அவர் வணக்கம் டு யூ ஆல் அவர் ஹானரபிள் நேஷனல் பிரசிடென்ட் திரு ஜே பி நட்டா அவர்கள் இங்கு நாம் ஓடிருக்கின்றார் ஆஃப்டர் சார் டேக்கோன் ஓவர் எஸ் the world's largest democratic political party president one important thing sir has done and sir is ushering is making our bharatiya janata party as a global party as we speak now more than 70 countries ambassadors have visited our head office they have interacted with our national president sir nadda ji and many political representatives have come of different countries have come to our bjp headquarters to meet and greet our national president sir jp nadda it only shows our party under the dynamic leadership of honorable prime minister narendra modi ji it is reaching to all the parts of the world and many political parties and leaders across the world they are trying to understand what bjp is what our ideology is what what does he stand for the miraculous economic transformation that is happening in india everybody wants to understand how bjp is doing and today is one such historic day where our national president sir jp nadda avargal is presiding over a function that is very unique to us for the very first time it is happening to tamil nadu bjp unit and sir is releasing along with the silon workers congress cwc's president and the honorable governor of eastern province sri lanka sir tendil tondaman avargal sir is releasing a commemorative stamp that is celebrating 200 years of indians in sri lanka specifically tamils in sri lanka and this is truly a historic day for all of us and we are truly elated and happy that all of you are able to find time to come to this uh, occasion i also take this opportunity to welcome our minister of state the previous tamil nadu bharatiya janata party president annan murugan avargal who has kindly consented to come and join with our national president to be a part of this occasion i take this opportunity to welcome the overseas bjp in charge and a guiding light to us a person who was very instrumental in making sure this function happens that too in the bjp headquarters and that too with the presence of our honorable national president sir nadda avargal vijay chotawala ji avargal i welcome him to this uh, function i take this opportunity to welcome our assembly floor leader and tirulaveli mla anna nainar nagendran avargal who are come here i welcome him i take this opportunity to welcome two giants of tamil nadu bjp who have given their blood and who have toiled hard to build our party at different points of time former state president and former union minister annan thiru pon radhakrishnan avargal has come i take this opportunity to welcome sir and our very senior leader and former national secretary and who is guiding us annan h raja avargal has come i take this opportunity to welcome h raja annan avargal i take this opportunity to welcome all the delegates of cwc some are eminent parliamentarian some are former uh, very important leaders in their own provinces they have always stood for tamil sin sri lanka and some of the great leaders from cwc have come they are sitting in the front row i request all of them to kindly stand up so that we can we can give you a proper greeting to all of you come here i take this opportunity to welcome sri natesh nanna very uh, very senior uh, tamil in sri lanka who has agreed to come as a special guest today i take this opportunity to welcome him i take this opportunity to welcome uh, dg post madam as kamya uh, to re- to give the stamp to honorable national president i welcome madam i welcome the acting sri lankan high commissioner uh, madam as kamya i welcome madam also to this function i welcome all the senior functionaries of bjp tamil nadu our vice president who are sitting in the front row our secretaries our general secretaries 
our all our in charges the overseas tamil in charge the tamil development cell in charge the district president all leaders of tamil take this opportunity i also take this opportunity to welcome the tamils residing in delhi part of the tamil sangam uh, part of the delhi bjp tamil nadu cell i take this opportunity to welcome you i take this opportunity to welcome our eminent media friends of tamil i would like to take this occasion to brief our adjecti who is well versed with the history of tamil nadu the history of tamils in sri lanka it is sir understand what is happening inside also but still i'll take this opportunity to brief sir and to many guests who have come here sir the history of tamils in sri lanka is a very unique history that no other community in the world has faced the kind of challenges the tamils in sri lanka have faced 1823 which is 200 years before the first set of tamils they left our soil they left all our impoverished areas areas which did not have water which where agriculture was failing when britishers were here in the promise of a glorious future in sri lanka many tamils they started leaving tamil nadu to different parts of the world to work in plantations and many of them were taken to sri lanka by the britishers that point of time the governors are edward bonds he started recruiting south indian workers to silon plantations and there was a pioneering planter in silon called george bird he was the first planter who was instrumental in taking tamils there the first set of tamils they left the tamil nadu shore vanishkodi and from there a 30 km trip overseas to mannar which is the point in sri lanka sir first when they arrived they had no clue where they are going they went as a group from each village 30 people 50 people from each village when they visited sri lanka they were assembled in a place called mathule muthu mariamman temple the britishers were very clear they didn't want one village people to go to one estate so randomly people were divided one person from village a one person from village b one person from village c they were thrown all around the central province of sri lanka places like kandy places like nureliya places like badule places like mathule they all went to different parts of sri lanka day one they lost their kinship they lost their village friendship many of them got separated from their families also sir the challenge for them that was facing in sri lanka was very unique bison tigers cheetahs these were inhabiting most of the plantation areas they went there with their bare hands they started creating what is sri lanka now they started creating tea plantation they started creating jute plantation they started creating bamboo plantations there lot of struggle they were not treated equally many were treated unfairly for the work they did in sri lankan plantations people are given coffee seeds as salary and there were occasions where they had to barter the coffee seeds to buy provisions for their food they faced 100 years of worst struggles at that point of time some of the great leaders fought for them including kothan rama nadeshan ayyer a tamil who went to sri lanka in 1920 he is called as the bharati of sri lanka like subramanya bharati of sri lanka he started writing about their history their stories so that the whole the world will know sir after that when sri lanka got independence the first set of people from whom citizenship was taken were the sri lankan tamils day one when the act came the silon citizenship act of 1948 close to 8 lakh tamils in sri lanka they lost their citizenship because the new rule came that their father should be a sri lankan citizen so that they can be a sri lankan citizen continuous challenges of the challenges the tamils in sri lanka they started the first satyagraha in 1952 fighting for their rights at this moment of occasion sir we recall eminent people like saumya muthi tondaman who is the founder of the political party cwc the current president is sitting right next to you sir Saumya Muthi Tondaman was was called as the Gandhi of Sri Lanka, who started the Satyagraha struggle in Sri Lanka to fight for their citizenship rights. Great people like Abdul Aziz, G K Motha, Peri Sundaram, Rasalingam, C R Motha, Kottam Palli Govindan, Chella Panayar, Vaidyalingam, Palani Sami Pillai, they all fought for their rights. Sir. Slowly, steadily, the Sastri Seema Vo Pact got signed, by which our country agreed to take five lakh Sri Lankan Tamils back to our country. so they were brought to places like tamil nadu kerala karnataka and many of them were given citizenship rights in our country and all of them are settled in high mountains there for example in tamil nadu they are settled in ooty gudalur 
there is a government company called tanti which gives employment to them sir completely ignored for 200 years our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji the very first indian political leader after independence to visit their place in 2017 he visited the indian origin tamils he visited nurelia in 2017 our prime minister told them that day in 2017 on a cold day cold winter morning that the country of india bharat people of tamil nadu will stand with them sir our honorable prime minister promised to build them 4000 houses where they will live pakka houses which our honorable prime minister delivered then our prime minister again promised 10000 more additional houses the work is on which will be delivered to them soon sir and continuously our honorable prime minister is having a great regard and emphasis for indian origin tamils settled in the central province sir with this context and historical background today we are commemorating the 200 years of entry into sri lanka from 2023 the 200 years and many leaders sitting in the front row all their grandparents they went to schooly workers in plantation sir and they went from different parts of tamil nadu people sitting here are third generation fourth generation fifth generation many of them are parliamentarians they are fighting for the rights there and uh, right now in the present sri lankan government twc is a part of their coalition arrangement where the president's party has got one cabinet minister representation the president of the party is right now a governor in a sri lankan prom- province sir with this background we are truly delighted and elated that we are commemorating the struggles the story the sorrow the happiness every single thing the tamils in sri lanka had to go through over the last 200 years it's a fitting occasion the stamp release function is happening in the bjp party headquarters where our president is very clear radha ji the party has to reach out everywhere and our honorable national president has personally sent me to sri lanka three times in the last one and a half years and our delegations have visited you murugan ji came at a point of time chakravarti and our senior vice president came at a point of time recently when you celebrated 200 years of tamils in sri lanka the prime minister of our country narendra modi ji has sent madam nirmala sitaraman madam to sri lanka to participate in the official program with this i take this opportunity to thank our honorable national president nadda ji for uh, honoring for remembering for appreciating uh, the the valor the sacrifice of all the tamils in sri lanka uh, it's a very blessed day for us sir we thank you so much we know you are very very busy man till you found time you gave us this day so that we can all bring everybody people have traveled very far they have come here sir i thank you so much for this and vijay chautala ji for being the man behind the whole program and organizing it sir with this i welcome you all again vanakkam neenga vandhadhukku romba sandosham arpudamana naal எங்களுக்கு மிகுந்த சந்தோஷம் உங்களை அழைத்து இந்த ஸ்டாம்ப் எங்கள் வெளியிடுவதில் பாரதிய ஜனதா பார்ட்டி பெருமை கொள்கிறது நன்றி வணக்கம் பாரத் மாதா